The science fiction story begins at a time when all natural resources on Earth had been exhausted, and due to severe energy shortages, electricity had also ceased. Blackouts were becoming frequent everywhere, and if this continued, there would be no energy source left on Earth. Therefore, scientists from all countries formed an organization to decide to go into space and absorb all the energy from black holes or collapsing stars and bring it back to Earth. There was considerable risk involved in this plan, so the government decided to send prisoners or criminals who were sentenced to death to this mission. Sending these criminals meant that they were already condemned to die, so sending them on this dangerous mission would contribute a little to humanity. After investigating the entire plan thoroughly, several convicts were selected and sent on the mission. Years later, deep in the depths of space, we see a spacecraft, but what was surprising was that inside the spaceship, there was only one criminal named Jack, who had his own child. But eventually, we will find out about what happened to all the other criminals on the spaceship and where they went. Due to being completely alone on the spaceship, Jack has to do everything there, such as cleaning and feeding his only daughter after always following the complete routine. Jack always had to report on the base, which had to be informed of what was happening there. Jack didn't uh, want his daughter to die in any case. The story goes that Jack, in a fit of anger, had killed his friend, and for this crime, he was sentenced to be hanged. However, after the program started, Jack was also included in this mission where he would help gather all the energy resources from space along with the other criminals. But within a few years, the spaceship became completely empty and only Jack was left there. Gradually, even the spaceship's energy was running out, so Jack decided to shut down all devices running on electricity to save energy, allowing him to survive for a long time. Jack slowly began disposing of the dead bodies of all the other criminals stored in the storage room into space because all these criminals could not tolerate living inside space for so long and their throat sore. When all the criminals were being sent on the mission from Earth, Jack was also part of their team, completely unaware that he would eventually be left alone. Scientists provided all the criminals with instructions on how to embark on a long journey sitting inside the spaceship and extract energy from black holes and collapsing stars in space. One by one, they were launched from Earth into the depths of the universe, where they had to manage their energy reserves carefully until they received replies from Earth, which took many days. Jack was on the ship with many other criminals, including a girl named Mi whose mental balance had already deteriorated. She wanted to leave here at any cost, but where she went, deep space spread all around. Everyone tried to work down because it was smaller. I had started to hurt myself quite a lot, but they all believed that by staying together, they would be able to complete this mission and stay alive. Now, we see one of those criminals who is shown to be a doctor. She was very intelligent, but her appearance was not as simple as it seemed. The doctor had poisoned and killed her own husband and family back on Earth, and it was because of all these crimes that she had been sent on this mission. But even on the spaceship, she continued her strange experiments in her laboratory. In reality, the doctor wanted to artificially conceive a child here and gradually increase her population. Because of all these things, the doctor used to tell all the male candidates present on the spaceship to donate their sperm, but many members had already advised the doctors that if they could be successful in giving birth to a child, they could not survive at all in the space radiation here. But it was as if a ghost had ridden the doctor's shoulders, so she could give birth to an artificial child in any way possible. Even here, it was completely forbidden for males and females to be intimate with each other on the entire spaceship. Therefore, the doctor gave everyone a strange kind of injection before sleeping. Due to this injection, the hormones of males and females were not aroused, so they did not feel like being intimate. Jack considered all the doctor's experiments completely pointless, 
but there was only one doctor on their spaceship who could treat their minor illnesses, so no one dared to say anything against her. Now, Jack went to his very dear friend Blue. There was a section in their entire spaceship where they had grown plants, and this was the best place where everyone could enjoy being on Earth. Jack and Blue spent a lot of their time there. Meanwhile, the doctor continued to try to make her experiments successful. She made some changes in every female's body so that an artificial child could be born, and those females had no choice but to let her do all these experiments. Here, I was becoming very frustrated at one point and did not want her to be experimented on in this way illegally. She flatly refused to perform all the experiments performed by the doctor, but maybe the doctor didn't stop for anything else, and she experimented on the body of another lady named Nelson and gave birth to a child by doing something. However, the fear came true because the space radiation was so high that the child died immediately, and the infection had spread so much that his mother Nelson had also died. The doctor became very disappointed with this, that her one member was killed in this way, but she kept all these things hidden from her other members because if the members found out about it, they could stand against the doctor. Now, due to space radiation, many other members were also unable to bear it, and due to gradually falling into distress, they died. In the last few months, the doctor and Jack had lost many of their comrades in the same way, but now all those criminals were growing like a very big black hole where they had to find any energy source in any way. Now they would have to handle everything very well because if the speed of their spaceship remained fast, then they would be pulled inside the black hole itself. So they would have to stop their spaceship at the distance determined by the scientists and experiment. And if those people took out the formula to make energy, then humanity could find a new way. Inside the spaceship, the environment didn't seem concentrated at all because one night, in a similar manner, a criminal tried to engage in wrong activities with another lady. She was screaming for help desperately when Jack arrived at the scene. Jack separated the out-of-control man from her and began to beat him. However, the other lady, who was undergoing wrong actions, was extremely angry. She didn't hesitate to kill the other man because, by now, everyone was so frustrated that even a small thing was causing them a lot of anger. As they observed, the patient's level of all members was significantly reduced. To resolve this issue, the doctor increased doses for all members so that they remained unconscious for a long time during sleep, avoiding all these things. At least they would focus on resting instead of fighting with each other. However, the doctor gave only one dose that was happening on the ship's pilot because from time to time the pilot had to get up and check the spaceship's direction, but the doctor was not sure that the pilot could take advantage of all these things. It can also raise the wrong benefit of Jack's unconscious state. The doctor had taken the help of many sperms, but this child was already strong, unaffected by the space radiation. However, the doctor never told anyone whose sperm was used to create this child. In Jack's unconscious state, the doctor had collected sperm from his body without Jack's knowledge. Meanwhile, May was anxious due to all the things related to her pregnancy. She couldn't bear the thought of having a child this way and being trapped here. A few months later, all the members received news that they had reached near a black hole. Therefore, the pilot decided to take a small spacecraft and orbit the black hole's orbit to determine where the allergy's generation was taking place. After everything was completely sorted out, everyone was sitting inside the spaceship. After everything was sorted out, the pilot sat inside the small spacecraft and left. After a while, she reached near the black hole and started orbiting it. But suddenly, her spaceship was pulled inside the black hole. It was then that Jack and the doctor realized that it was not the pilot inside the small spaceship, but May who had sneaked inside. And she had already sat herself down by finishing the pilot because she didn't want to stay in all those places anymore. Therefore, 
she wanted to leave from here in any way possible. Naomi was directly taking the spaceship inside the black hole so that her entire spaceship would be completely shattered in the next moment. The name of Mei had disappeared altogether from seeing all these things. The rest of the members were very afraid of the cryo being more scared. Now here a lady doctor started attacking over the doctor because she thought that due to the doctor's illegal experiment, I went into the same kind of deep depression and took my life. Doctor was also damaged a lot, but now Jack came in some way and saved the doctor and he also struck the other lady. The spaceship finally came inside, moment Jack confirmed the mission alone and he needed. Inside the spaceship, Jack finds his friend Blue and his daughter, Mary. However, with time passing slowly, even Blue cannot endure and eventually, he too succumbs, losing his life. This leaves only Jack and his daughter on the spaceship. This is the same time that was shown at the beginning of the story, where they were alone on the spaceship, continuously journeying through the depths of space. Jack had abandoned all hope of completing this mission alone, but he was just spending his days in these deep spaces with his daughter. Now, as they observe, years pass inside the spaceship. Jack's daughter, named Mary by him, has grown quite big now. But Jack always says the same thing to his daughter and apologizes that she was born here and there is no future for her here. Mary had only seen videos about Earth and heard about things there in reality. She never felt or touched anything on Earth. In this way, they were continuing their journey. But one day, suddenly, Jack sees another spaceship similar to his own in the distant space. On continuously approaching the spaceship, it turns out that his spaceship had number six written on it, and on the other spaceship, there were nine Jacks understanding all these things. It can be said that the criminals were sending more to complete the mission because they knew that the mission would be fatal, and once gone, it would never come back. Jack was trying to contact the second spaceship, but there was no such good contact, so Jack tried to connect his spaceship with the second spaceship with his daughter Mary. After trying for a while, as soon as the spaceship connects, Jack puts on his spacesuit and goes into the other spaceship to see. However, he is completely shocked because there is no criminal left alive in the other spaceship. That means their condition was just like ours. There were only a few dogs and puppies there who remain alive by eating the flesh of all those criminals. Now, seeing the puppies here, Mary was telling her father that please bring one puppy with you to your spaceship because Mary has never seen any animal on Earth and felt it till today nor touched it. That's why she started insisting on her father that he should bring a puppy to his spaceship, but Jack's opinion was that he did not know which unknown virus was present inside these puppies when it came into space, and if we took them inside our spaceship, this virus could also infect us. That's why Jack immediately refused Mary's talk, although Mary was saying a lot to her father, but after explaining it, she understood that her talk is true now Jack takes back to his spaceship with all the stuffs and goes to his daughter. Jack once again tells Mary that sorry for putting her in this condition because if she wasn't born here then they would not have to face so much difficulty, but Mary had to live there while. Now, both father and daughter begin their journey again within space, along with at least Mary. Jack's father wasn't there, otherwise he would have died. Within a few months, Jack and Mary learned that there was a very large black hole ahead. However, Jack didn't have information beforehand that they could escape from there because going near a black hole could be very dangerous. When he took his small spaceship into the black hole, many scientists believed it was another portal to enter another dimension. But that wasn't the case at all. When they went between the black holes, it gradually thinned out and disappeared in space-time, so that when the gravity of the black hole pulls something inside, it is completely shattered and ends. But Mary spoke to her father Jack here that we cannot return to Earth with the help of our spaceship, so our end is fixed at one time. Therefore, Atlas and Mary attempted to approach that black hole. Even though Jack had spent so many years inside the spaceship, 
he no longer felt like living. Therefore, due to his daughter's words, he agrees to take this step. He had turned his spaceship towards the black hole. Both met for the last time, wore their space suits, and were ready. Now Jack and Mary went inside the spaceship together. After this, the whole scene ends here. That means the energy shortage on our Earth will never be corrected, and in this way, our story ends here.